Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Printify to your Wix website in 2023. By integrating Printify with your Wix website, you can offer your customer a high quality and customized product from top print providers without worrying about production, inventory management or shipping. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do of course is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, Go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by reCAPTCHA Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook or even Apple or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retype in your email, creating a password and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's gonna be my email. I'm just going to retype it like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re-enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those. If you want, you can simply click add continue with Google. If you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say an example for me or my business or friend. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say, for example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time, this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say, for example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot. And even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say, for example, it's going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video, and click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first 
my first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then design my website then connect to a custom domain then get found by customers on google so the first step to connect Printify, sorry Printify to your wix website is go into this left panel of your wix account then click on apps that will take you directly to the app market of wix website once you're here simply go to the search apps option and type printify sorry printify like that and hit the enter button so this will appear to you once you write printify so let's just click on this printify app right here free to install as you can see this app is available worldwide so you can use it wherever you are on the world and the language provided or supported by the app is English. And of course, this app has a requirement, which is you would like to have a Wix store before you add it to your site, to your Wix website. As you can see right here, to install Printify, first place Wix stores on your site. So of course, Printify app will come with these features. Create and sell custom products, up to 550 products, and a comprehensive network of 65 print providers over 90 locations and of course simple creation process for new items automatic syncing and it's free to use of course if you want to read all the features make sure to click on or uh, read more and read all the features right here of course if you're worried about this app or something you can always go to down to this average rating and see as you can see it has a decent average rating 4.4 uh, per 5 which means very good and of course, as you can see, based on more than 200 reviews, that means it's not fake because some of them even give it one star. And if someone has a problem and give it one star, as you can see, they actually reply to him to provide him with the best support. So if you have any troubles, you can always come back here to read the reviews and tell them what you have. Of course, now simply you will have to add it into your site if you have a Wix store. And of course, if you set up your account and completed the first seven steps that I showed you when you created your account, write those. As you can see, you will be you will have your store and you will not even have this problem as you can see. So for me, I cannot add it to my site because I don't have a store. But for you, click on add to site and you will be good to go. You will be able to customize it from here to match your uh, design of your store, including colors, forms, and etc. And then you can even go and try it open a new browser as an example just try to be a customer and go to your store and check if everything is working well you will be good to go of course they are even have here some youtube videos on how to create products and as you can see you'll be good to go if you're facing any issues so that's it for this video on how to connect printify sorry printify to your wix website and 2023 by integrating Printify with your Wix websites, remember that you can expand your product offering and increase your revenue and provide your customers with unique and personalized products. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and I will see you in the next one.